Well, how's everybody doing? Here we are, another wonderful day in my neighborhood, your neighborhood. Everybody's all talking still about that slap. Uh, no coffee today, but if you like coffee, Invader and Geek Grind both have great great selections link in the description as well as fitness guru eric roberts fitness if you're needing a little help he'll set you straight honest engine link in the description as well <clears throat> so oh, i put this video up because i'd never seen this movie However, I was well aware of it. I was aware of it being a cult classic, if you will, by Terry Gillum. This movie's from 1985. I bought the Criterion Collection DVD set, which has a, the chopped up version that the studios put out. It also has the ultimate director's cut, like exactly what Terry Gillum had in mind when he was making this movie. Along with the full disc of special features and whatnot. Have not watched those yet, but I have watched the director's cut and it's something else. Something else. <clears throat> um here's a picture of the movie poster. Looks insane. Looks entertaining, right? Sad note, Robert De Niro is in this movie. I'm not a fan of him, but he can be quite the actor, right? This is the movie poster I've always seen. Looks fantastic. Looks like lots of fun. It's not. This movie is about a dystopian nightmare. And here's the thing. It's a good movie. It's not short. It's the the version that I watched is well over two hours. And it's good. It's crazy. It's insane. It's Terry Gillum. It's exactly what you expect if you put in a Terry Gillum film. That's a fact. But Criterion. I don't know what you were doing, but y'all jacked the audio up on your DVD collection to the point it's hard to watch. The music is insanely loud, and the audio is so low that in between music, you have to turn the TV up to be able to hear what they're saying. And no, it's not my player. It's not what I use to watch movies on. It's the disc. I, now, I haven't watched the studio version. Maybe that's different. But the director's cut, the audio is trash. Now, that being said, I'm sure this is out on Blu-ray. And it may be better, but I have no experience with it. I haven't watched the Blu-ray version. I don't know. But look, this movie is weird. It's odd. And the whole point at the end is it is it real? Or or is it in the character's mind? Now, it seems to be uh, straightforward enough. But this is one heck of a roller coaster ride. And it's definitely not for everybody. Um, the wife didn't find it entertaining whatsoever. And in fairness, I've seen much better films by Terry Gill. And I like Terry Gillum's work. He, he has a great imagination. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't.
that being said, if you've never seen this movie, it's an experience that everyone <laughs> should experience for sure. I uh, I definitely enjoyed it for the weirdness. Sorry, I'm really parched. Pouring some water here. My apologies. Um, I leaned into the weirdness. It, it was good. But I would. I, I don't think I'd watch it again. I realize it's a cult classic. And I, I feel like this is one of those movies that you're either going to love or you're going to hate. And I think Terry Gillum in the director's cut just leaned a little too far into the weird and made it confusing in some in some places uh it's definitely definitely sci-fi in my opinion i do think it's worth watching I, i'm i'm going to give it a 7 uh, i don't usually number things here but it was it was a good watch one time. I've seen it. I own it. I, I'm not gonna watch it again. Uh, I would be hard pressed to watch the studio's crappy version. And maybe maybe that's the problem. Maybe uh, maybe I would enjoy it. Highly doubtful when the studio steps in and goofs around with. Uh, director's art they usually screw it up surely sure enough in my experience so there you go this is kind of a shorter video today but I just wanted to get my feelings out <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out the lighting in here I'm sorry it's gonna take a little time I may have to buy a new light I'll, I'll figure it out Anyway, I hope y'all have a great day, a great rest of your day. I mean, surely you're having a great time because you're watching me at the moment. But when you're done, have a great rest of your day. From Michael the Microphone, Squeaky Chair, and this big fat nerd, we'll see you next time.